So I am about to grab lunch with my girlfriend Latoya. And I'm freaked the fuck out because there's a fucking spider in my fucking car. And I don't know what the fuck to do about it. Good morning, how your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin and I'm doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living fam? It is Friday up in this motherfucker. It is Halloween, happy Halloween. By the time you guys see this, it would have been past already, but that's okay. Hope you guys had an amazingly amazing Halloween and a safe one at that. And for those of you guys who have kids, hope you guys had a great night and uh, you know, got yourself a whole bunch of candy. Make sure you inspect that shit too, okay? And uh, I'm over at Wally World getting ready to take a couple ganders at a couple things. Christmas wise, I know, a little too early, but we're getting there. Tomorrow's gonna be November, right? And then I'm also gonna come here and put down some money on a TV, y'all, okay? Look, Juice and I have been talking about this and talking about this and talking about this for the last I don't even know how long y'all already know we went looking so it's gonna be an executive decision made by me today um, since he's at the J-O-B-B and I'm gonna go ahead and put some money down I hope I don't look like crazy with the lippy and I look crazy in general because you guys already know I run errands looking like whatever the fuck okay so I'm gonna pretty much make an executive decision on which TV we're gonna get you guys all said Vizio is a great brand and I told Juice, and he saw the comments. He's still stuck on Samsung, y'all, and the Vizio is less expensive by long shot. It's probably one or $200 less, depending on the size of the TV. So I'm gonna see what they're talking about today. I'm gonna look and see if anything's changed price-wise. Um, I do have the savings catcher, so hopefully, like, even after we purchase the TV and all that, maybe we might be able to catch a little bit of savings on it, you know, get a little gift card out the deal. If you guys don't have that savings catchers app from Walmart, get it on your phone, y'all. It's bomb, okay? Haven't gotten anything yet, because all the receipts I showed or scanned were over seven days old, but I'm gonna be using that mofo, because y'all know we're in here a lot. So, any hoodle, um, yeah, y'all. Don't know what the fuck we're gonna do for Halloween. There's so much going on, that's why I'm staying in this lane. There's people everywhere. I don't want to get shut down. You know how it goes. Because um, everyone's doing like last minute stuff for Halloween and all that kind of stuff. So the last thing I want to do is weird anybody out. You know what I mean? Anyway, so um, Halloween. Don't know what we're doing. Usually we do something. I don't know that we did anything last year or if it was anything to write home about. I don't remember, to be completely real. But previously, we would go to Central West End and we would go to the Halloween party they have down there where they close down the streets and you know you walk around and you see other people's costumes and all the bars have something going on. But they had that event last weekend. And I think the reason why they had it is because Ballpark Village is having their event tonight. And um, they're having their big Halloween block party down there. And Ballpark Village, from what I understand, is like shutting restaurants down and shit. Like, ever since that opened, there's businesses that have been closing and all stuff. So it's, it's crazy because that's like phase one of the project. It's supposed to get even bigger than that. So I don't know. It's going to affect a lot of businesses or seems to be affecting a lot of businesses. But... I don't know. I don't want to go to that that party. It's first of all, the Central West End block party is free. You just find a parking space, okay, and you flow with it. Ballpark Village is charging at this point right now as we speak here $45 a person to get in. It's all you can drink, but it's well drinks, it's beer and it's wine. So, you you know, if you want top shelf, you're going to have to pay for top shelf. And um, of course, because it's going to be a hell of a lot of people down there, you're going to have to stand in line, wait for drinks. It's going to probably be really packed. They may do the whole one in, one out thing if it gets to capacity, which it will definitely get to capacity. So I'm like, do I really want to take a chance on spending 90 bucks or whatever the case is just to go to Ballpark Village to kick it and be crowded around a whole bunch of people? Where Central West End, you're kind of free to kind of move and walk around and walk up and down the streets and interact with people. It's just more fun in Central West End. So probably not going to do that tonight. Um, we were going to meet up with Bambi and Jonathan. They're still trying to decide whether they're just going to chill at home. And honestly, I'm kind of in that mood too. My friend Christy is like, hey, let's do something. Let's go out and do something. And they're going to go to Dave Chappelle. I'm not really into Dave Chappelle. I'm more of a Martin Lawrence type of person. Y'all know the deal. Mike Epps, that's more my stilo. I'm not into Dave Chappelle like that. Um, and I don't know the juices. And he's not really interested. Y'all know Friday's juice likes to chill anyway. So he's not going to care whether we do anything or not. In fact, he'll prefer to stay home. 
So I don't know. Um, I don't know. We're going to just play it by ear tonight. I don't know if we're going to do anything. Probably just going to chill, relax at the house, enjoy some food. Um, because tomorrow we're gonna go see um, my poo play his first basketball game, so we're gonna go do that. And I figured tomorrow we can just do date night or something, or hang out with Manish or whatever. You know what I mean? Our usual. It's cold as fuck, by the way. It's supposed to be low twenties tonight. So even if we did do something, we're gonna be freezing. You know what I mean? So I don't know. None of that interests me right now. I'm kind of just like, eh, do I really want to go in the cold? Then Juice doesn't have a costume, and so I don't know. I'm not really sure. So we may just veg out, chill out tonight. We'll see what, what happens. But anyway, so yeah, um, let me go ahead and take a look at these trees real quick since I think they have their Christmas displays up and uh, see what they're looking like, see what they're costing. Ah, oh, yeah, they do. Look, guys, look, 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 look. Ah, why am I so, so excited? Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna look at these trees and then we're gonna make a final decision on what we're gonna do with everything else because I'm gonna pick a TV, we're gonna put it on layaway, we're gonna have that mofo by December, right? Because you have to get it out by the 15th or something like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and we'll have a TV for the holiday season, and uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Better than a busy Exactly, okay, so I got my TV, y'all, all right? I'm about to show you what the TV is before they go ahead and put it up, because you know I got it on layaway, ready? Bam! There it is, I got the Vizio. Looked at the Samsungs, it turns out the Samsungs that we were looking at, um, that I showed you guys the other day, they weren't smart TVs, so the price was really good because they weren't smart TVs. So this one is a smart TV, and it's also the M-series of Vizio, and the clarity on it is bananas, and it's the price that we were looking at for the Samsung originally, so that's awesome. And we got the 55, so we were able to get, y'all know, y'all were telling me, go ahead and get the 55 inch, so I did. So Juice is going to be happy about the size and the fact that we got a TV, but I don't know if he's going to be happy at the fact that I got Vizio. But I had to make an executive decision, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let him know here in a minute. Hopefully he doesn't get mad. But the other TV, the one that we looked at that was 55, Samsung, was $1,000. No ma'am. All right, I'm out of here. Okay, so I'm about to grab lunch with my girlfriend Latoya. And I'm free the fuck out because there's a fucking spider in my fucking car. And I don't know what the fuck to do about it because I don't kill spiders. Did you guys know? I don't kill spiders, but I'm freaked. Latoya's coming out. I don't think she's going to want to kill this either because it's big as fuck. I don't even know if you guys can see it. <coughs> okay, hold on. Let me figure this out. <laughs> she, huh. did you know what? See my... See, that's, that's Latoya. Hey, boo! She just, okay, I'm getting out. She was like, this little motherfucker right here? Shit, took that shit off my, my window. Oh, God. Hi, honey, buddy. Like, what? It bugs. Say hi to Latoya, y'all. Hey. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Oh, I know you guys probably can't see me. I freaked out. Like I was like, here's when I saw here's when I saw it, right? I didn't see it until I pulled in here. Uh -huh. And I was like, ah! like screaming in the car, and then I'm driving all erratically. Thank God I was in the parking lot. Because I would have probably had a wreck. And you just so happened to look up. I happened to look up and it was chilling. Oh my god. It was like, for real, like what up, nigga? Like for real. Heart is beating fast. Okay. We're going in to start crazy for lunch. That was supposed to be a better intro. <laughs> All right, we're going in now. Shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake the drinking. Hey! <laughs> I am so jealous. <laughs> Woo! It's happy hour somewhere. Exactly. It's happy hour. <laughs>